Hi, so in a previous video, how to make a vertical wind turbine from an old fan, we made this and we could uh, use it as either horizontal or vertical. And it got lots of good comments on it. The really noticeable one was, um, there's a couple of problems with this. It's pretty weak on these axes here and it's quite a small area. What would really improve it would be putting on a shroud. And I thought, oh, okay, what's a shroud? Well, apparently this is a shroud. Okay, I grabbed that from Wikipedia, obviously, but that's basically what it looks like. So what we're going to make is a couple of big discs with some fins in it, and that should um, improve the performance of this and strengthen up those bearings. So that's exactly what we're going to do. See, on that we need a top disc, a bottom disc, and cutting large discs, piece of cake. Grab yourself a bit of wood, drill a couple of holes in it, and a couple of nails. And you put the nails apart for the radius of the disc, because obviously... That's going to stick in and that's going to go around and the circle you cut is going to be twice that distance. You sharpen that one up with a file so it's a nice sharp point. In your bit of acrylic, drill a hole and just press on that and go round and round and round. And you'll score out your disc. After you've gone around a few times, that's what you're going to get. A large disc of acrylic. You want three of them. So in that drawing, what we had was a whole load of aerofoil shapes. There's no way I'm going to make aerofoil shapes. That's just too many and it'll take too long. So I got a bit of this. It's one ten soil pipe. I marked it into three and cut it into three sections. I need 12 of those. So I've got four of these. Cut them into three. Gives me 12 of those fins. Then what we're going to do is arrange those around the disc. Now then, if you look at this rotor, you'll see that it's scooped one way. When we put these in, we want to scoop it the other way so that the wind, if you like, gets caught and blows into those scoops. That's the job of these little fins. When we cut it out, it invariably has a rough edge, but it's PVC, so all I do is take a carpet knife blade, stick it in the vise, and then run the blade down. And it acts like a cabinet scraper. It cleans it up really, really easily and really quite nicely. There's the shroud put together. Now, apparently the idea is it has a bigger surface area, it scoops the air and blows it in that direction because they've got a twist to them. This one equally has got a twist, so we need to have the little scoops facing into the way it blows. So that bit is where the motor goes, so it goes that way around. Now all I have to do is slide that together and put some bearings on it and see whether it works or not. Actually, that, that is actually cool. We have far less wind today than we did uh, when I first tried this. Uh, and it doesn't take much of a breeze to actually get that spinning. That's very cool. We've got nothing in the way of wind. But if a little breeze picks up, then it will spin the centre of that, no problem at all. Very impressive, actually. Okay, that's hilarious. We've absolutely no wind at all. The wind has completely died. But here it is all set up and ready to go. Um, so we've gone through the construction of it. Obviously I need to get that into some kind of breeze and take some kind of readings out of it. But this is really quite exciting, I think. This little motor here, I'm gonna change out. I think I'm gonna put a bigger, chunkier motor in here and perhaps make this to be an actual generator rather than an experimental one. Probably play around with these fins a little bit, uh, see what we can do with those in terms of their angle and their attack and the spacing and all that kind of stuff. I know that a bit of bent pipe is nowhere near as good as an aerofoil, of course it's not, but it's uh, really easy to make and that's the whole point of it. So I apologise that we don't have any wind to give you a demonstration of the output, but at least we've had a look at the structure and in the little breeze that we did have in the afternoon, we could see that it definitely, at least qualitatively, performed a lot better once it was in this structure. Getting it in this structure, of course, makes it very much stronger. So quite an exciting thing, I think. So thank you very much for everybody who pointed this out to me and for the links that people sent through to um, have a look at this and the possibility of building it. And thank you very much for watching.